Got some beautiful beef ribs. Today, we're gonna to get them on our Farnetto smoker. We've got that firing up outside. If you check the link up here, you'll see how to get that set up. So we're gonna to get to trimming. From JD Meats, you can see, and I'm sure if I come up to the camera, you'll see that beautiful intramuscular fat. Just veined all the way through. It's that Jacob's Ladder, it's a free bone short rib. One of the things I'm gonna do, trim the fat cap off, and we'll get it seasoned up. I'll get to uh, trimming, see you guys in a minute. Oh, by the way, check out my apron. Christmas Prezi from me boss. Thank you very much, Louise. Right, on with the trimming. Trimmed up beef ribs. There's all that hard fat cap in there that you could render down. But we're not uh, gonna talk about that at the minute. We're just gonna get on with our beef ribs. You can see there's plenty of intramuscular fat so we can lose that fat cap and we can get that smoke penetrating into the meat. And we have left that membrane on the rib side. Let's get to seasoning. French's yellow mustard as a binder and I am going to use my tin to keep all the uh, rubbing so I don't make too much of a mess. I'm not going to focus on the bone side just on that meat side and we're going to use dirty cow rub which I should have Cut, clean hand again, and now I've managed to open me a dirty cow rub. I always do that before getting your hands mucky. Right, focusing on that meat side, we're going to get plenty of this rub on these beef ribs. This is a rub from Angus and Oink, so you can uh, find them online and get the rubs on Amazon. So, this one's Beautiful for beef, and it says it'll give you that maximum crust. I did use it on my uh, last brisket. The only thing I would say is it uh, maybe needs a little bit more salt, a bit more pepper for my palate, but I suppose that's because I've got used to doing that Texas style briskets and uh, ribs. Right, that seasoned up. I'll let it hang out on the board. We'll let that temp temperature, we'll let the smoker get up to temp. We're smoking at 250 degrees Fahrenheit to 275 in that sort of range. And we're going to get it into that smoker. I've got my piece of smoke wood on. I've got that preheating so that when I get it onto the coals, it's going to instantly ignite. It's, it's damp at the moment. So best way is to warm your wood up before you put it on the smoke. Gets rid of all that uh, horrible white smoke. See you guys when I put it on the fire. Got the put beef ribs. Now sat in the uh, centre of the smoker, got the water pan in, no water in there. I've got that oak smoke that's just going to start kissing that meat. I'm going to leave that now for up to six hours and then we'll check the internal temp. We are going for probe tenderness but we're going for shooting for a temp of around 206 degrees Fahrenheit. So see you guys in uh, six hours. Look forward to tasting. The beef ribs have been in for just over seven hours so they took slightly longer but you can see it's got a beautiful pull back on the bone and that back it's got beautiful color now for the uh, frustrating part time to wait so let's get it wrapped up 
and let it rest. Take your butcher's paper and give it a good wrap. Send you working in a fish and chip shop. Got it all wrapped up. I'm going to rest it in my uh, little tray. If you're obviously outside, stick it in your cooler. But we're going to leave that to rest on the side for at least an hour now. It's nice and warm in here. I'm cooking, so see you guys in now when it's time for slicing. Right, the beef ribs have been resting for about 45 minutes. Not quite like the hour. I want to get on with eating them. I want to cut them into these and see if we've got to some nice juicy beef rib meat. Got me super slicer. Get through that back, through that super soft meat, and then through that crust at the bottom. And yes, I don't know if you can see that, but that is just super juicy. Got beautiful smoke ring all the way around. Oops. Going too high. Beautiful smoking all the way around. That looks absolutely delish. Cut myself a beautiful slice. Easy. Quick. Beef ribs. Don't get any better than that. That's super tasty. Hope you've enjoyed your cup. If you have, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out my other videos. See you guys in the next cook.